What's up, guys? We're back. It's What the Fitness, because it's Friday. What the f Filming this one on the fly. This is actually filmed the day we're releasing it. Let me be honest, Brian texted me last night and was like, dude, we don't have What the Fitness. And I was like, Ooh. So it never fails. Dave Ass Spray provides legitimate material for What the Fitness. And for that, Dave, we thank you. Dave recently appeared on Mark Bell's podcast. Now, I've been on Mark Bell's podcast many times. They're, they're nice when you're on the podcast. They don't really grill you. In terms of the Power Project, uh, they, they grilled him about this. I am going to respond to Dave Ass Spray's claims about diet soda. Let's go. Uh, Nutrisweet or Spartan. And there are studies, PubMed studies, that show that Nutrisweet causes obesity and metabolic disease despite the intention of limiting caloric intake. Bro, what? What? <laughs> That's just straight up fake news, to quote our former president. So I would love for Dave to cite any of these studies. Dave, comment below, you guys can tag it. One, one study, one single study where diet soda is given in a randomized control trial and people not, don't even, not even become obese, they gain any weight. Oh wait, actually all of the studies, all the studies show either no weight gain or weight fricking loss. So how do you explain that, Mr. Ass Spray? Um, the PubMed on that is 25313461. Uh, oh, we gonna look up this study because I feel like this study probably don't say what he's claiming it says. You can find correlation data demonstrating that obese people may be more likely to drink diet soda, but correlation is not causation. I don't know what study he's citing because we're doing this live. Fuck it. Do it live. But we'll pull up the study and you know what? If he, if it actually shows what he's saying it shows, I will do another video and I will buy bulletproof coffee every single month for a year and I will put it on my story. If there's a randomized control trial showing that aspartame caused obesity. There's lots of things going on there and it has to do with your microbiome because this is the ah, other thing that our cal- When one of these biohackers doesn't have a reason for something, it's always, it's the microbiome. My friends haven't fully considered, but the guys over at Viome have definitely considered. This is, Viome is a test of what the gut bacteria, what you have, but more importantly, what they're doing. Right? And it turns out that if you feed gut bacteria something that makes them produce butyrate, well, butyrate is a short chain fatty acid that's highly ketogenic and anti-inflammatory. So you ate a calorie and it turned into butyrate. <laughs> or you ate a calorie and it turned into something else that didn't have those same things. So where are you going with this, Dave? The calories in, calories out is it's not you processing them. It's a bunch of bacteria processing them. Okay. NutraSweet changes the balance of bacteria in the gut in a way that is pro- obesogenic. We're, we're, we're done with this video. This is what you call hacking together mechanisms to support your point. If only we had randomized control trials in human beings. Oh, wait, we have those. And they show that it either doesn't produce weight gain or it actually produce weight loss. Also, the studies showing that it disrupts your gut microbiome are in petri dishes and animals getting crazy high doses. There have been human studies using artificial sweeteners and show no impact on the gut microbiome. So, Dave, can you please just stop talking shit, man? Actually, I'm kidding. Don't stop talking shit. We appreciate the material. In fact, Dave Asprey is one of our favorite people here at BioLane. You never fail to provide fuckery for us to debunk. And for that, we thank you. Breaking news. So we went and looked up the actual study that good old Asprey is referencing. And guys, this is why it's really important to actually go read studies because when I hear things like, oh, they cited these studies or this book cites these studies, I don't give a fuck, okay? Because almost every time these charlatans cite a study, they misrepresent it. So I went and looked up this study. Not only was it in rats, which is fine. My research was in rats. It was, to be fair, it was giving a reasonable dose. It was the equivalent of about uh, two diet sodas a day. So they fed two diet sodas a day for like eight weeks and fed these rats, challenged these rats with a high fat diet. High fat diet tends to make rats fat. By the way, guess what Dave Asprey rec recommends for diet? It's high fat. Anyway, guess what? Not only did it not make these rats fat, 
It had the opposite effect of what he claimed. In fact, the rats who got aspartame gained less weight, ate less calories, and had better body composition than the rats that were not getting aspartame. Holy shit. So thank goodness I will not be buying Bulletproof coffee for the next month. Dave, you do not pass go. You don't know science. You go straight to jail. You don't collect my $200. To be fair, they did show elevations in blood glucose and reductions in insulin sensitivity, and they did show a change in the gut microbiome from this aspartame consumption. But none of that made these rats fat. Also, it's in rats, and we have human randomized control trials showing that aspartame or sucralose do not affect the gut microbiome in humans and does not affect glycemia or insulin sensitivity in freaking humans. So I'm sorry, I love rat studies, but unless it's backed up by the human data, uh, it's a good story for rats.